So what seems to be the problem here then? Uh, you need a new brain. The, listen, state of the art, right? This thing. This is the greatest brain. Oh. Today, I have been tasked with some brain surgery, but first I need to replace somebody's head. <laughs> and this guy, uh, not knowing, has actually been waiting here for qu quite a while. And um, I'm just gonna go in front and introduce myself as, as a doctor, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna mess around for a little bit, <laughs> play with his nerves. <laughs> Oh, and then at some point I might, uh, if I feel like it, I might, I might cut his head off and replace it with, oh boy, that thing. All right, so uh, let's just uh, let's just go, let's just go over here then. Oh, hello, hi, my name is Wacky. I'm not actually a surgeon nor a doctor, and don't have a license, yeah. but here I am, ready to perform the most difficult task known to man, which is head replacement. Yeah, <laughs> you won't believe what I'm gonna do next. I've actually been tasked to do uh, a brain surgery, which is uh, way easier than this. The only thing you do is like you, dr you draw a line down the middle of the head here, and then then you scalpel it open. Kind of, kind of like this, you do this. Oh, sorry, sorry, you're not the one I should do it on. Sorry, sorry, terribly sorry. And then once that is done, you use, you, you saw it open and then you crack it open like a, like an egg shell, like one of them. And then you, you take the brain out, you put the new one in and bish bash wash, Bob's your uncle. Fantasy your aunt. You want this happening to you right over here? You want, you want your head gone and, and the new one in? And, and, and is this the new one? This one? This one over here? Because as far as I can tell, you might you might want to upgrade to the premium plan, right? First of all, you've got me, not a doctor, and then you've got this thing, which is let, let me just let me just put it gently. Um, he, he's got no chompers, so you will have to come back and get the them chompers inserted. You won't be able to chew food if you don't got them in here. So I might, uh, if you, if you upgrade to the premium, I might I might want to I might want to give you them as well. So. I'll be extra careful not to damage them in any way. So it says here that you're bleeding, but according to all of my high- Oops, I don't want to press this. But according to all my high-tech equipment, you seem to be totally fine. You've lost a little bit of blood. That might be because you've been, you've been waiting here for over 10 minutes to get your head removed. <laughs> I'm going to use this handy dandy new tool to pick this head up because we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. And uh, I'm just going to, we're just going to put it out of sight, out of mind. We're going to forget about the fact that you're gonna get a new head up on top there and it's gonna be all the might have fallen on the floor but that's okay because it's gotten this this place is completely sterile there's no germs going into that head it can't be any worse than this right <laughs> okay uh right now first things first we need to make sure that you are okay to go for the surgery now i realize that you're already here strapped into the chair with everything done but i'm just gonna do the you know the necessary things i'm gonna check your joints and that is you see, you see how that's bending? That's because your brain is allowing it to happen. So it's clearly something wrong up there. But for some reason, they just want the whole head gone. So we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take the whole head. We're gonna take the whole head off. All right, now I'm gonna do the test with you that we do to people uh, under substance effects. So uh, we're just gonna do, oh, whoops, <laughs> let's not grab the drill. So touch your nose. There you go, touch your nose. Oh, good job, touch your nose and dab. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a little dusty. It got a little dirty. There we go. Let's just put it over there on the desk. Like that. Waiting. Waiting for the right opportunity. You want to touch your own face? Your, your soon-to-be face? There you go. How does it feel? Huh? Touching your own head. Why don't we get this right on the show then? First things first. Everything's okay with you, apart from what's up there, which is not good. We just need to make sure that you can't feel a thing. So we're going to put this on your forehead. Right there. Okay. And then we're going to put this down here where the sun doesn't shine. <gasps> there we go. I, I might have had too much. I might have had too much. Here we go. Okay, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Let's hope you didn't forget everything I just told you. Because if you did, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because you're not going to remember it anyway in a little bit. Because you're going to get... And then just going to toss it into the trash. And then we're going to put this replica in there with no teeth. So remember to get back to me with that one. Here we go. Put the cap on. <sighs> Start the surgery. Oh, this robotic arm? Yeah, it got stuck in the patient, my, my other arm. I, I sewed it in, so I, I have this one now. It's not as functional as a normal arm, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm only going to replace a head. <laughs> anyway, I need to get chopping. I've also got this here, which is like a laser. Ah! Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Okay. I, I, I was going to show you that this laser, <clears throat> that this laser pen is, oh no, uh, I, I am, I'm so clumsy, I'm so sorry. This laser pen is really good at cutting skin, so I might use that, but first we're going to do it the old school way, which is with the scalpel, so. 
go just clean it up a little bit. That is, okay, you're losing a little bit of blood, but that's good because the less pressure you have in your system, the less blood is gonna spew out when I open up the uh, the, the tap. It's all for the better. It's, this is literally, this is literally all for the good. It's it's for the best. Try not to uh, to breathe too heavily. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm terribly sorry. Listen, it's not, it's not, listen. It's a little bit on the difficult side. You know what? This scalpel is not really the tool for the job. I think we have to go, whoops. <laughs> I think we have to go new school, which is this. So we're just gonna gently go through your neck like this, and it should go right through. Did it? Did it work? I really don't know if it worked or not. Um, I've got like 40% 40, 40 of the skin gone. How is that even possible? 49. It should be more than 49, you know? Because like, according to me, I'm like almost done. You see? I'm almost done. Have we, uh, I mean, you're starting to look like the Titan right now because you, you don't have a whole lot of... There we go. Uh, heart stop beating. Well, that's an easy fix. We just take the defibrillator and bish bash bobs. Bob's your uncle. Um, could you please? Thank you. And you're back. No, ha no harm, no foul. Okay. I need to... No, you can't hear me anymore. Uh, I need to gently just cut these ones off. There you go. And then I need to, like, saw the whole, like, bone piece uh, off here so that we can put the new thing in. There you go. So just, just, just don't even think about it. I don't know if he can hear me or not right now. Maybe he can. He's still kind of alive, so. Oh, the oxygen is going down. The blood's going down. But we're 50% done. This is like a slow download, you know, of, of like a game. Blood oxygen is, is not good. Can I, like, ventilate him a little bit? That, that would be perfect. Like, if I could just... Can I please? I need I need some assistance. Uh, nurse, nurses, no, uh, nurse. I need some help. Oh boy. Oh no. Patient is dead. No, he's not. It's fine. It's, there we go. He's brain death. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. I did a boo boo. I did a boo boo. I uh, I was supposed to do a surgery with a guy listening with a guy, and uh, I was supposed to replace his head because he wasn't really, you know thinking straight uh, so so I uh, I might have I might have uh, I might have oh a fan I'm right now gonna go and do do the like brain bit because that's the one that really matters right that's that was just practice the one before yeah it was just practice nothing nobody's gonna know how would they know it's just one guy it is it is whatever uh, oh here we go oh the mission has arrived the previous surgeon did an a minus minus at five minutes removing the brain and putting a new one in. I bet I can do better. <laughs> Welcome, hello. Uh, oh, you've got all your teeth. That's perfect. Um, so what seems to be the problem here then? Uh, you need a new brain. The, listen, state of the art, right? This thing, this is the greatest brain. Oh. You shouldn't drop tech on the floor. I'm so sorry. Um, it's it's state of the art brain. This one is, and it's got um VR capability. You don't care about what it's got. You don't care about any of that stuff. Um, what you do care about though is getting getting it in there in, in your in your head region. So yeah, we're that's my mission today. I'm gonna be your doctor. My name's Wacky, and uh, spoiler alert, I'm not a doctor. I'm just here for the fun of it. Okay. Oh, a saw. This will come in handy. Well, can I just like. Like sawing a mohawk into your into your brain. <laughs> oh wait, um, since you already just, since you just want a new one anyway, we might just poke around there a little bit, you know, see what happens. <laughs> so just uh, uh oh, you might want to you might want to chew down or might want to chew down on something because this it might feel a little bit it might feel a little bit strange. So we're just gonna hold, hold that over there in your mouth. Oh god, oh, go hold it, hold it there, hold it. Okay, there you go. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Okay, right. Um, we're just gonna poke around a little bit. There you go. What? What do you mean? He can't be. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, oh, Welcome back. Right, a little bit of a hard reset that one was. <laughs> you had some minor injuries. Okay, so drilling into the skull is not a good idea. Did I do something with your eyes? Hello? Uh, they don't seem to function properly. It's it's gonna be okay. This one will make you forget all about it. Um, I operated previously on a guy that needed his head replaced. And that didn't go too well. Since you can't rotate to see the paper, I'm just gonna rotate your palm so that you can understand what I'm saying. Okay, here is your brain, right? That little circle over there, that's your brain, okay? And I'm gonna mo remove it, and then I'm gonna replace it with this one. Can I put my autograph on here? I bet a lot of people will like my autograph on a, on a piece of brain that's going in. Enough jibber jabber. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna gently make sure you can't feel anything in this area over here, so we're just gonna put a little bit of green paint on it. Green paint is there so that I can see what I've done and what I'm about to do. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Can you feel this? <laughs> Can you feel this? <laughs> you can't feel it? Well, we better make sure that it isn't nerve damage. There you go. 
Okay, you felt that? According to this one, you did. So, it's not nerve damage, it's just your brain is a little bit deaf, which is why you're here. You can use this one, because it's the best tool for the job. So just gently, you know. It doesn't work on skin, what is this? This makes no sense, makes no sense. I'm just gonna use a kitchen knife to open up your, your scalp a little bit here. How deep can I insert this? Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky with this one. Hello. Anyway, let's just get on with this. So the knife, the knife's not a good idea, okay? This one, nope, no bueno. I am gonna use the scalpel, however. I'm a scalpel for the scalp. <laughs> I, I guess I know what, what it's called scalpel now. Here we go. Just a gentle little incision. That's all we need. Just a gentle little incision. So just over here like this. Okay, just cut along the line that I've covered with the green paint. It's all good though. I've opened the scalp to 17%. I'd like for it to be a little bit more, you know. This is rubbish. I need something better, which is, you know, the Star Wars lightsaber. This will get the job done. So just straight down the middle like this and boom. That's it. Now I know what you're saying. This is not actual medical practice, but I, I beg to differ because he needs to have his scalpel opened up from over here, which is why I'm behind him like this. You see, I'll get the job done just fine. Oh, oh, oh I'm healing his skin with this. That's not what I want to do. All right, maybe we just need to reset this whole thing. Maybe we just need to do it all the way from the beginning like this. Gently. A few moments later. So, uh, um, the, 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 it says it's 99% done. Uh, I would like to, I would like to say that it's, um, 100% done. There we go. We fixed it. And then we need to disable the bleeding because he's bleeding from somewhere. And I don't know exactly where from. So we're just going to spray the whole face like this. The whole face. Just like that. Perfect. You know, I'll hit the spot eventually. Um, okay. Can, wait, he's still looking at me. <gasps> he's still with me. He's, he's still here. He's not completely out of it. Oh my God. It's like, it's like the ones, you know, playing the violin while they're doing this. I'm that good. I've got it, okay. Right, now the best way to open up one of these things is to use your fist. <coughs> well, that didn't work. So we're just gonna use the hammer. Ah, there you go. Brain surgery with a hammer. What could possibly go wrong? But I'm just gonna go full swing at it. There you go. Just get a bunch of these bone bits off. Because this, this is a soft, it's not going to damage the brain tissue at all. So we need to disconnect the brain and then put this one in. This, brain 2000. We're going to put this one in there. Uh, so we're just going to take the scalpel and wiggle it around in there a little bit. You know, like this. Just like this. Wiggle it around. That'll get the job done. So now we've got the old brain out with the old and in with the new. And then we need to like, we need to do, we need to do this thing. We need to do... Here we live! Okay, somebody else did that for me. Oh, thank God. 